myself Prambad Lamsal. Today we are going to study the addition and subtraction of algebraic terms. Before starting the addition and subtraction of algebraic terms, we should know what are the two types of algebraic terms. The two types of algebraic terms are like terms and unlike terms. Okay, let's study what do you mean by like terms. The terms having same base and same power are called like terms. That is, the like terms have same base and the same power, but it's not necessary that coefficient should be same. Let's see the example. 5x squared, 7x squared. If we see here, we can see that they have the same base. The same base, x, and the same power, 2. But the coefficient are different. So it's not necessary that the coefficient 2 should be same, but we need the base and power. The base and power should be same. If the base and powers are same, then we can say that they are like terms. Okay, other example. 9a, 5a, 3a. Here the base is a and the power 1. Okay, another example. 2x square y, 7x square y, 11x square y. What is the base here? The base x, base y. Base x, base y, base x base y, power of x is 2, here the power of x is 2, here the power of x is 2, the power of y is 1, power of y is 1, and here too the power of y is 1. So they are like terms. So let's recall again, the terms having same base and same powers are called like terms, and in the like terms, it is not necessary that the coefficient should also be same, or like terms. What are unlike terms? The terms having different base and different powers are called unlike terms. Once again, the terms having different base and different powers are called unlike terms. For example, 8p square 9q power 3. Here the base are different as well as powers are also different. Now let's take more other example and get clear. 2x power 3, 4x power 2. These are also unlike terms. Although the base are same, but the powers are different. So they can be said as unlike term. Another example, 7y power 2, 8x power 2. Here we can say that the base are different, but the powers are same. They are also unlike terms. So it's not necessary that both the base and power should be different. Either the base can be same and the power can be different. The power can be different and the base can be same. At least one of them, either the base or power should be different or both should be different or both can be different. Now let's see the addition of like terms. So while adding the like terms, we do not see the base or power. We'll just see the coefficient. When the two like terms are given, two or more like terms are given. For example, okay, 8x square plus 7x square. Do not see the base and the powers. Just, you have to watch the coefficient. Add the coefficient, 8 plus 7, 15, and the base and powers are written as they are. I mean to say, the base and powers are not affected, only the coefficient should be added to get the result. Another example, 2x square, y square, plus, 5x square y square. Here too, let's see the coefficient 25. 
7, 2 plus 5, 7, x square, y square. The base and power remain the same. Most of the students, they do mistake. They add the base and the power also they add. They write as 7 x power per y power per, which is totally wrong. We should add only the coefficient. Okay, another example. 3a square b square plus 2b square a square. Here, don't get confused. Some students, they say here a square b square, they say here b square a square, and they say these are unlike terms. Let us see here the base is a with power 2, here the base is a with power 2, base b with power 2, the base b with power 2. That is, these both terms are like terms. So we shall add 3 plus 2, 5 a square b square. This 2b square a square is same as 2a square b square. Don't get confused. What happens if all like terms are added? For example, 12x square plus 5y power 3. Can we add them? No, we cannot add. Since unlike terms are never added, but what shall we write? We shall write as they are. 12x square plus 5y power 3. So what the mistake students do? They write at 12 plus 5, they write 17 x square y square. It is totally wrong. Since the unlike terms cannot be added, so we will write as they are. 12 x square plus 5 y cube, the same. 12 x square plus 5 y cube, the same. We cannot add them. While adding the like terms, we had added the coefficient. Likewise, when we subtract the like terms, we should subtract their coefficient. For example, 10 a square minus 7 a square. The base and power remain the same. 10 minus 7 equal to 3. So 10 a square minus 7 a square would be 3 a square. Take care that we shall never subtract the base and power. We shall only subtract the coefficient. Subtraction of unlike terms. As we have studied that unlike terms can never be added, likewise unlike terms also cannot be subtracted. Okay. 8p cube minus 5q square. These two are unlike terms, so they are written as they are. Because unlike terms can never be added and they can never be subtracted. So we have to write as they are. Let's do exercise 9.3, the creative section which starts from question number 4. Here we have to add or subtract according to the given question. In some questions, they are given to add. In some questions, they are given to subtract. Okay, let's add. Here these two are like terms, so they can be added. So 4 plus 7 results. 11x. We shall add only the coefficient. Here, like terms, so they can be added. So let's add the coefficient 5 plus 9, 14a square. Likewise, here, there are like terms, so 5 plus 3, 8xy. There are also the like terms, so 6 plus 3, 9abc. Now, we have to subtract here. Since these two are like terms, the so they can be subtracted. So subtract, subtract the coefficient 10 minus 3, 7 p cube. Subtract 12 minus 7, 5 mn. Here, 9 minus 4, 5 x square y. 8 minus 7. Either we can write down 1xy square or simply xy square. Continue. Question number 5. Simplify. Now we have to either add or subtract. Okay. Here, all these three terms are like terms. So they can be added directly. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 1, 6a. Always remember. A stands for 1A. 
So I told in my previous video that if there is no coefficient, we have to understand that the coefficient is 1. Now see here, these all are like terms. So let's add the coefficient 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 4, 10 p square. Let's see here, here 2x and 3y. These are unlike terms, but 2x and x are like terms. So here we should collect the like terms. Here we should add directly because all were like terms. But here we should collect the individual like terms. So let's collect 2x plus x and the like term of 3y is y. 2x plus x. 3x plus 3y plus y results plus 4y. Okay. Here also we have to collect the like terms. 6m. The like term of 6m is minus 4m. Minus 4m. Plus 2n plus n. We have collected the like terms. Now we can see here that these like terms are subtracted. 6m minus 4m. 6 minus 4, 2m plus 2 plus 1. That is plus 3n. Here let's collect the like terms. The like term of 3xy is minus xy. 3xy minus xy. Take care of the sign. Some students, they write at this x minus xy, when they write together, they write at plus xy. It's wrong. Plus yz, it's like term is minus 2yz, minus 5. Let's subtract 3xy minus 1xy. 3 minus 1, 2xy. Now, if we see here, we can see that these two like terms are of different sign. One is plus, another is minus. And when the different sign are simplified, then they are always subtracted. Plus and minus, when they are simplified, they are always subtracted. So, 2 minus 1, it becomes 1yz. And 2 is greater having the negative sign, so here should be minus. Always remember, we follow the greater number, the sign of greater number, and minus 5. So it is left on pair, it does not have any of its like term, so it is written as it is. Let's see here, 5p square plus 2p square, collect the like terms, minus 2q square, Minus 3q square. 5 plus 2, 7p square. And here, if we see, we can see that 2q, 2q square and 3q square, they both have got a negative sign. And we know that the negative signs are added, but they follow the negative sign, the same sign. That is, minus 2, minus 3 would be minus 5, then q square. What should be added to 9x to get 15x? Suppose the question had asked us, what should be added to 5 to get 7? What would you do? You would subtract 7 minus 5, you would get 2 and you would say 5 plus 2 equal to 7. That is, 2 should be added with 5 to get 7. So how did you get this 2? You got by subtracting 5 from 7. Similarly, what should be added to 9x to get 15x? We know 9x plus 6x equal to 15x. So from where shall we get 6x? We should subtract 9x from 15x. That is 15x minus 9x. We would get 6x. We should be added to 9x to get 15x. So let's see here. 15x minus 9x, we would get 6x, therefore 
six x should be added. This is the answer. What should be added to p to get p plus q? Quite simple question. What should be added to p to get p plus q? Q should be added. Then it would be p plus q. It's quite simple. But from where shall we get q? We shall subtract p from p plus q. And we would get q as we had done before. Okay. p plus q, the greater term, minus p. So, p minus p, let's collect the like term, q. p minus p, it would be 0 plus q. As a result, we shall get q. Therefore, q should be added. So, q should be added to p, then we would get p plus q, which we have to get. Okay, what should be subtracted from 12a to get 5a? Let's see here, the word from is given. And when the word from is given, we have to take that term in the beginning and subtract another term. So 12a minus 5a equal to, we would get 7a. Therefore, 7a should be subtracted. What should be subtracted from 3x to get 3x minus 2y? The question is quite clear. What should be subtracted from 3x? Minus 2y. If you do minus 2y, you would get 3x minus 2y. This result. That means we have to derive, sorry, we have to extract this 2y. Now let's see here. Here the word from is given. That means I have to use this term at first. If we erase this. 3x from 3x minus, after minus, I'm going to write this term. So I have to write them in bracket. 3x minus 2y. Minus 2y. So why did I give this bracket? Since after minus, I have to write this two term. This is a binomial, which is a single expression. So I have to write them in bracket. 3x minus 3x. The minus will change the sign inside the bracket. Always remember, if outside bracket there is minus, then the minus will change all the sign inside the bracket. Minus into minus plus 2y. Minus will change the sign of 3x as well as sign of 2y. So plus 3x became minus 3x, minus 2y became plus 2y. So 3x minus 3x, 0 plus 2y, which would be 2y. Therefore, 2y should be subtracted. Well, this was a short video to make you practice on addition and subtraction of algebraic terms. In the next video, we shall study how to add and subtract the algebraic expressions. Till then, take care, be safe, stay at home. Bye-bye.